What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs? Madden 20 is going to drop in about three or four days. We're now doing Madden 19. Uh, I'm talking about some schemes, playbooks, quick audibles, adjustments, and everything you need to know at the line of scrimmage. Get at your boy, Kenny Catfish. So this is Madden 19. I'm going to be going back and forth between Madden 20 and Madden 19. This is 19, my you know current year's playbook. Um, they have made some drastic changes. Drastic. I, I guess depending on the quarterback and coaches and all the other stuff like that. So this is 19 right here. Um, you're going to see the difference between 19 and 20. Um, look at that. It goes straight to pistol. If you go back and rewind, it goes to pistol, shotgun, and I'm talking about they have diversified the playbook. Um, they don't even have eye formation in here. Um, they only have two single backs, so it's just like they drafted Kyler Murray and told him, hey, can we get your Oklahoma playbook that you used to running or something that you used to do back in high school? So they have run a lot of RPOs to the game and everything, so we're going to get into all of that good stuff. Um, I'm going over the audible system. See, it's only two single backs compared to when I first started this video and you saw the whole list of Arizonas from last year. So I'm gonna let you know how I set my audibles, how I find playbooks, and what I go through um, with some gameplay footage. And see, Bruce Aarons came to Tampa, so it's like they took the whole Arizona playbook and went to Tampa. You get what I'm saying? Um, Arizona did go through some changes. Like they, I have been rocking with their playbook for for a couple of years now, for about four or five years straight. Even when they had Kurt Warner five wide and all that other good stuff so that's that so i like to go to practice mode put it on all mat and you want to go against a team like a 99 overall so it can be more resistance but right here we're just going to talk about audible setting audibles i like the formations that have like every formation i do when i set my audibles i like to have an outside run i like to have an inside run a high pass and a low pass. So you can see the little low pass, high pass, you can see the inside run, outside run for every one that I do. Um, sometimes you don't have a high pass and low pass, you have a, like a money pass play. Um, it all makes sense as I, you know, as the video progress. Um, right here we have a scheme. So out of this personnel, this is the three tight end. You got 12 audibles. You know what I'm saying? You can shift three different times between like the tight, tight wing, tight wing flex or whatever you got. So right here, I tried to toss right here. Usually that's the money play I use to get in, but I, I was too fast on the run. Come back second down. I was looking at the toss again. Um, you can see him as a user up there. This is real gameplay footage. He's a user playing in that middle. I have the trait called identifier, of course, if you're an ultimate team fan. He followed me left, I go there. That's one of my audibles, you know what I'm saying? I always put that into it. So you can see as we move forward to the ace, this is like, you have to pick a playbook that have key formations as well. And um, later on in the video, I will show like gameplay footage of how you set these audibles. Cause it look like I'm taking forever right here in practice mode, but I have a system that I implement into the game and you have to use a timeout. You, actually, you have to use a timeout like back to back. So you can set all the audibles on the go. You won't have to be hitting start or thinking about stuff. And you know, you're just setting the tone in the beginning of the game for you to play for the rest of the game. Um, it might, you know, it's a slow pace type of thing in the beginning, like the first couple of plays. And then once you set them, you're good to go. All right, so as you can see, like I say, I have an outside run, I have an inside run, and I have a high pass and low pass or a money play, what I like to call. You know, that's all subjective. Everyone's different, different strokes, different folks. But you can see usually I have like a toss or a stretch for the outside, and I have a simple dive or an inside zone for the inside run. And that way when you move when you audible they won't even know what's going on they won't even they won't even really be able to react because you just audible out 
You know what I'm saying? And I win a lot of games. I lose a lot of games. I punt the ball. I throw picks just like everybody else. I'm normal just like everybody else. Um, as we move to the I formation, of course, you always want to stretch. You always want the ISO or inside zone. You can see my little draw shot. That's like a money play. And, you know, I just go and you just don't want to have the generic stuff. Like, I'm not a Call of Duty fan, but I played a few times. And the people who are masters of the universe of Call of Duty, what I'm doing here is compared to what they do. You know, you're going changing your guns, changing the, the vests, the bullets and stuff like that. You're not going with the basic stuff that the game gives you, you know, the stock formations and stuff, if that makes sense or not. <laughs> so, yeah, I like to do strong and weak, too, but I'm kind of just skipping over a little bit. I always put the zone. I put the cross. I put a counter and a corner play. Yeah, so when you when I talk about high passes, I'm talking about like a deep corner or like an inside post or double move. And low passes mean like drags and crosses. See, look at this. We're going with the power O, which is outside run. And we're also going to put. Oh, I, I think you, I missed it, but I put like an inside fullback in there. And this isn't going to be 100 percent identical to the gameplay. It may be like 97 percent identical because sometimes I tweak a little a few of the plays in there. So right here is a shotgun four wide spread. I love this. Here's some gameplay footage right here. You always want to put the low pass, which is a screen and a high pass i was in i was pinned back about the they about the sack me in end zone i noticed the cornerback over there was backed off boom i threw one of the quick plays now you don't have a screen in your audible so that's nice to know you know what i'm saying right here is a stack and a shotgun type it's eight audibles it's a lot of quick shifting less movement and it's symmetrical meaning you don't have anybody coming across the formation you can easily just quick shift Less movement. The defense don't even move sometimes. You know what I mean? Or sometimes they'll just follow those receivers because you might want to have a compressed formation and run outside or a concave formation and run outside. You know what I mean? It's just switching it up. So I love shotgun tight. If you don't have shotgun tight in the formation, I won't even mess with it. Right here is the flips, trips. Um, like I say, you always want to have your inside zone and a deep pass and a low pass. Some formations don't have an outside run, so you just gotta kind of play with the numbers, and it's like a it's like a hat count at the line of scrimmage. I don't really care for how they switched it up this year with they when you know coming out of the huddle, the quarterback is already at the line. That kind of sucks, but you know I don't. I'm one of the users that don't complain, so we'll adjust to it. You know what I'm saying? So right here is the trips, and this next formation, the gun. Why off trio, like I say, is eight audibles, quick shift and less movement. What I mean by eight audibles is the formation next to it has another four audibles and it's way less movement. Like the tight end only, like the difference between the trips Y and the trips Y off is the tight end goes off the line of scrimmage and whatnot. I'm going to show you another example of like a quick audible. Um, so I'm at the line of scrimmage with four audibles. I saw something I didn't like, switched over, and look how it's less movement once I switch to the Y off. See that? Boom. Defense don't really get to react because he don't even know I did something. He went for the play action fake. I roll off, and I made something out of nothing. So you have eight audibles, in which means I had an inside run, outside run. Here we go again, the same formation. See, I got eight audibles right there. Four on this one and four on the other one the formation is pretty much identical to each other it's not symmetrical symmetrical is like when it's even on both sides of the ball and no one goes across the formation boom that was a good read i like to do that read depending on what the matchup is so yeah so i'm just going through the whole entire shotgun and i went through the single back but like I said, it take forever right here because I'm breaking it down. But I'm going to show you the gameplay footage on how, you know, you go through the process and you do it real quick and get it out of the way. But like I said, you have to call timeout two times. And that's pretty much the last formation in the shotgun. You have to find you a scheme that has, like, key formations that you like. Okay, that's that. So I jumped into an ultimate team game. 
I'm fast forwarding right now. We both have 99s. You know, it's like three days before the game come out. <laughs> three or four days or whatnot. And this is like, so he got 99s. I got 99s. So here we go. I just got a pick off. He got ball for us. I just got a pick off. You're watching the play clock. What you're going to do is the first 30 seconds they give you, you're going to narrow that all the way down to like one or two seconds left. Use all the 30 seconds. Set your audibles. Get as much as you can out the deal. When that play clock get to like one or two, you hit timeout. You got to be able to burn one. Now, I don't believe in burning timeouts in the second half until you're under two-minute warning. But in the first half, you know, because that's life and death, but in the first half, these timeouts are very convenient for setting your audible because, you know, back in the days, back in the days, you were able to hit star and go through your whole playbook and stuff. Like, especially when you're on the road, when you're not at home, didn't have a memory card and stuff, you were able to just hit star and go set the audible. So now you just hit L2. It's been here for like two or three years now. You just hit L2 and you go set everything. Now, this is what I was doing in practice mode, right? And this is real gameplay. And I kind of slowed it down because I go through this like a computer. Like, damn, they can do this with my eyes closed. I do this real fast, but I'm kind of slowing it down right here just for the video purposes. And it's pretty much, like I say, it's like 95, 97% of the same of what I did in practice mode. So that second, you know, you got to come out after 10 seconds. By 9, 10, 11 seconds, you got to come out to the line and just call a play. You get what I'm saying? So the first down, so here we go again. I got the single back and the eye formation set. Now I got to do my shotgun. So you're going to let the play clock run. It's second down. Let the play clock run all the way down to two. Um, this is a scheme I've been doing for like three years, ever since they put the quick audibles back in here. That was so convenient. Let it run all the way down to light two while you're set and get as much as you can, cover as much as ground as you can. And then you call timeout, and then you got another 60 seconds to go. This is how I do it every game. At least if I play 20 games, I do it like this at least 17 times out of 20 games. Only way I wouldn't do it if it's like, uh, let's say I score on the first player, like I run a kick return back or I run an interception back off his first drive so when I'm kicking my field goal you know what I'm saying I'm setting my audibles and you can afford to lose five yards then because it, you know it's a pad attempt you're gonna make a field goal just losing five yards and that will help me not use all these timeouts so if you lost and you kind of confused of what I'm trying to say you just gotta rewind and just look at the video for what I'm doing and stuff like that so I'm down to one timeout usually when I finish the last the um second timeout I usually have all this set. So I'm out of that 14. I got 14 seconds to call a play. It's second down. Mm. And I just call any play just to get the video going and stuff like that. So, But it's a live game though as well. So that's right there. And I just finished the shotgun. Go all the way across. All the way to the left or all the way to the right. However you want to do it. So the shotgun audibles is finished. Um, you can see the score ended up being 20 to 7. I was going to start running the ball like no tomorrow. Out of the um, That's why you want to set the formations. You know what I'm saying? You want to set audibles because you, you basically have a game plan for any situation. Whether he in the 3-4, he in the 4-3, whether he doing that Tampa 2. It's sometimes where like I, I might do all of these audibles, but I won't even do I won't even change the play in the game. You know what I'm saying? Because you still have to read and react to what the defense is doing. So I got the win right there. I don't even really think I'm going to be playing Matt at 19 no more. I'm just getting ready. Got a few more hours for the early access. So we're going back to Matt and 20. This is Tampa Bay playbook now. Like I say, Bruce Aarons, he left Arizona. Um, they didn't do nothing but just wipe out Arizona put a whole bunch of pistols in there for um, Kyler Murray. And since Bruce Aarons came back to Tampa, they switched Arizona playbook to Tampa Bay. So I could say goodbye to Arizona playbook as I've been using the last five years, since at least like Madden 16 at least. For that, before that, I was using um, Tennessee. 
and you know you usually have like two or three playbooks but what you want to do is you actually want to sit here and kind of like you want to dissect like you dissecting a frog like a <laughs> like a doctor dissecting the brain from an animal you want to sit up there and go through everything you can because and go through all the formations know what you want to do you know know what you want to have i know for sure that i have to have shotgun tight in my formation and a shotgun spread so if you don't have that you're pretty much canceled i like half back stretches out of my single back formations i like inside zones out of my shotgun formations um and if they don't have that I, I go on to the next playbook. Like I'm gonna be spending the first two weeks just looking at playbooks and stuff like that and setting audibles, coming up with a system. And you can see this is Madden 20 and I'm on a good pace from what I was doing last year. Um, of, like I say, the formations are still the same. Ain't nothing really changed. They added a lot of RPOs in there, like them stretches. Um, you can see some of the stretches. You, you are actually able to cancel the handoff like previous years you're able to cancel the um play action and you're able to just throw it now i've sat there in practice mode and ran that like 40 50 times back to back to back to see you know to get the timing of it so instead of some of these zones you might have those plays like the rpos like um looky alert and peak and stuff like that it's funny you're able to pull it out of his gut like his college and throw the ball based on the reads and if you don't make the good read, like let's say you don't hand the ball off and the, and the cornerback slides over to the receiver, you got to run or slide or get on the ground. So it's not going to be no, uh, it's not cheesy as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be real cheesy. You know, you got some people who will neglect the system and abuse it. That's why they, you know, Madden always having patches and updates and stuff like that. See that RPO? That used to be one of my regular screens right there. But that's an RPO now. So you can hand the ball off if you like the, the, the play action. You know what I'm saying? If that if that cornerback, you miss the wrong read and the cornerback steps up, you're able to hand the ball off. So, yeah, my shotgun tight, as I keep mentioning. I like the empty base. I don't like those empty formations where the running back is out there in two tight ends. But, yeah, man, so I'm going to probably be dropping some more videos. You know, get back at your boy, this Kenny Catfish. Hit the like button. Hit subscribe. Um, be, they coming this year. They coming. <laughs>